Well, I announced on Facebook that I had an idea for straightening the frame on this dinosaur. And after getting out here and trying my idea and beating on it and beating on it with the sledgehammer, it's obvious it's not going to work. I have bought a rear frame section off of one of those cab over engine trucks that I have videoed. I got the frame from the cab all the way back and the rear end. So I'm going to replace the, I'll put the original two speed rear axle back under here. This school bus axle kept on hopping out of the high speed gear and sadly I was hoping I'd get a higher speed gear ratio when I got this later model rear end but it wound up having the same 610 to 1 gear that these things have originally. I was trying to get my engine to rev lower but it didn't. But anyway, my idea to straighten this frame was to get this big old plate of hardened steel and run a bolt through that and through one of the original spring parts rivet holes and I got that thing, it's a hardened bolt. I got it really, really torqued tight. But that frame is not budging. You know, I could pay to have this frame straightened, but it would cost a fortune. So I thought I would try this. So I guess I'll cut that section out of that other frame and put it in here. And I was beating on it with that sledgehammer from the other side and it wouldn't budge. I guess I ought to put some heat on it, but my torch is out of gas. You know, here that night I made a quickie video of this Corvette, and it was dark, but my data plan was running out on November 1st, or my phone bill does, and I still had data left. It's either use it or lose it, so I made that quickie video of this vet. But it wasn't much of a video, I'm sorry about that, but some people have been asking about it. But in the daylight, you can see, like I said, it still got a lot of, I haven't done anything with it. But I guess the rest of my day is going to be spent going and getting that other frame and dragging it over here. I've got my work cut out for me. But, you know, this truck really wasn't usable like that. There's no point in having it around if you can't hop in it and haul a car every now and then. And this thing, I did haul a few cars with it, but I took my chances. Thanks for watching.